appear we'll see a pinch hitter here as he'll try to get something started with the bases empty and two away. The batter, the center fielder, Theo. Fouled Davidson. off. He's got that average up over 340 now. 26 home runs and an RBI count right at the century mark. 100. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Round into right field. Ball. That's a base hit. Well, when you're going as well as he is, not even a two-strike count is going to get in your way. Yeah, Matty, he's having a monster season, well over 300. Right there, when you're feeling that confident at the plate, it doesn't matter what the count is. You're willing to go deep and still feel confident. The right fielder, number five, William Liriano. This one's down to third. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. A run on two hits and they leave one. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Flying Squirrels are on top, three to one. Your Bernie Perez please. is on his way Al into the ball game the now curve. as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Ernie Perez. Yeah, and they know this is going to be a tough stretch on the road. To win the first game of a series has got to feel pretty good. Something to build on for tomorrow. A 4-1 to one finish in this evening's game. The Richmond Flying Squirrels jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Hans Pagan earned his ninth win of the year. Ioannis Pena wraps it up for the save, his 29th of the year. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation and of Minor Mule. League Baseball. Al Tonight, the Duda. second of four to begin the Curve. week between the Flying Squirrels of Richmond and the Altoona Curve. Justin Holton is on the mound for game two. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this is a very unique pitcher. He is really tough to hit when runners get into scoring position, and that's one of the reasons why he doesn't give up many runs. We'll see if he can continue to do that in this one. Stepping up now, Joaquin Montañez. And the, the home away splits tell Joaquin. us he's actually quite a bit better Montanez. hitting on the road than he is at home. The one-two. Fly ball out to straightaway center. Moving under it, Jamison makes the play, and there are two gone now. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. What do we need to know about these guys for this evening's matchup on the road, Dero? Well, Matty, you look at this lineup. The key to success is scoring early, putting the other team on their heels and allowing their own pitcher to go out there and feel like he can execute his game plan and attack and stay in the zone. This offense. Ready now, Theo Jamison. And as we give you a look at his fielder. splits, he's had the Theo. better of right-handers this Jameson. season. No doubt about that. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Well, you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight. They do come in off a victory last time out, but they've really hit the skids here recently. Losers of eight of their last yeah. ten ball games. Yeah, guys, after the first four games on this road trip, they find themselves two and two, kind of par for the course. But they got to find a way to play a little bit better today, kind of turn the tide and get it working in a positive direction. Fielded cleanly. And a close play at second, but the throw does beat him, and the side is retired. 
set to get his evening at the plate started. Lou Castro, and it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Hit in the air out to center field. Jamison waits on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Striding in once again, Theo Jamison. Theo Jamison. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. This is on the ground over the first. Run it out. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Stepping into the box, Joaquin Montañez. He off. flew out in his last at bat. And with his speed, Joaquin. he's one of those rare guys Montanez. who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. Now a flare out to left center. Here comes a left fielder. He can't get there as it falls in. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. In now, Theo Jamison. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim fielder. last time. Theo Jamison. First pitch on its way. Reaches out for one and Come hits on, it on D, the ground to second. And a good throw gets him one gone. Leading off the inning, Joaquin Montañez, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Jamison comes on now, and he has it one down. Coming to the plate now, Theo Jamison, 0 for 3 to this now point. Batter. Yeah, not the his game fielder. so far. He's such Theo. a good hitter. We all kind of expect Jamison. him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. And he pops up the bunt attempt. Seaver is there, and he makes the catch for the out. At the plate, Thurman Seaver, as he'll look now to bring batter. home that tying run the from second base. with a base hit into Thurman. the outfield. Seaver. The 0 1 offering. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. He makes the catch, and they have come back to even up this series at a game apiece as this ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. And this evening's contest comes to a close 5 3, the final. The curve came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Michael McCormick claims the win out of the pen, his first. Jared Tejada hammers down the save, his 11th of the campaign. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Minor League Baseball is live and on and the air on the show. Go. Tonight it's Al game Fuga. three of this four-game set between Curve. the Flying Squirrels of Richmond and the Altoona Curve. It's Stephen Colon, the Puerto Rican Southpaw, gets the starting assignment here. What's your take on him, Dan? This guy's a fun guy to watch pitch. It seems like the more trouble he gets in, the better he pitches. Really tough to hit with runners in scoring position, and that's one of the reasons why his team... Set to get his evening at the plate started, Gustavo batting Rivera, batting the just a viewer. notch below 300 Gustavo. so far on the season. Rivera. He's set. Here's the three and two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Two, 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 two. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And this one scoots yeah, yeah. all the way to the Nobody. wall. Nobody. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. That's how quickly things can change. Stepping in, Edgar Castro, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Edgar. 
chest throw. Now the one and one pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Burton relay. is in here pursuit. Relay, relay. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. Four, oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. And they'll add another as this is now a 5 nothing game. Digging in, Theo Batting Jameson four. took an 0 the for 4 field. in the victory last Theo. night. Now we'll snap Jameson. one off over to the bag. And he just manages to get his hand in. From the stretch. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. Yeah, you should take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. It was another loss for him last time out, and that makes them 2-8 and eight over their last 10 games. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Castro is there, makes the catch, and the side is ready. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Theo Jamison. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down six in the early the going, so what do they need to do to claw Theo. back into this thing? Jameson. Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. I got to believe this is an awesome time for this pitcher to get real aggressive in the strike zone. He's got a There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one without a doubt is gone. Yeah, they dug themselves quite a hole, but they say the first thing you need to do when that happens is to stop digging. Well, with that solo shot, they've stopped digging, but they've got a long way to go before they climb. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Did Gustavo Rivera. He got on top of one and was Gustavo a ground down victim last time. Rivera. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Burton comes on and makes the catch and shot. Digging in once again, Theo now Jameson. And hey, it was a breaking ball Theo. to boot. This guy's a pretty Jameson. good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat, he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. In a double play situation, that's the location you want a guy to swing at. More than likely, he's going to beat it into the ground. And he falls behind 0-2. The 0-2 delivery. And a swing and a miss as they got him. Stepping up to the plate, Theo Jamison. And their runners at the Theo. corners now. Jamison. First offering on its way. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the... At the plate, Edgar Castro, 0 for 2 with a sacrifice thus far. The left fielder, Edgar Castro. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. McDougal ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Now with the plate, Theo Jameson. He's one for the four fielder. for the game. Theo. First offering on its way. Jameson. Line to the right side. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Digging in and looking for more, Peter Nakajima. Catcher. He singled his Peter. last time up. Nakajima. The 0-1. Fly ball out toward left center field. 
Burton is after it. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. So no runs. Digging in to try it again. Theo Jameson, the winning run at second. However, the double play in order here. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a liner. On the bay, and that's on the bay, into the outfield the for a one-out hit. Sites blows through the stop sign, headed for home. And they come back to win it here in 11 innings. Hey, this game looked like it was going to be one of those wild ones right from the beginning. But when you could win this thing in walk-off fashion, what a way to win a ball game. A walk-off win? And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he delivered when it mattered most with the walk-off base hit, so better get his recognition. I just hope his guys didn't pummel him too hard when they went out there celebrating on the field. A tight one, 7-6, to six, the final score tonight. The Altoona Curve seal up their 30th win at home on the season. Dave Lutz claims the win out of the pen his first. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to the... There is rain in the area, but we've been and given now, the go-ahead to get this one started. Al Tonight, Duda. the finale of this four-game yeah. set between the Flying Squirrels of Richmond and the Altoona Curve. Orlando Fernandez gets handed the ball for the fourth and final game of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, we look a lot at numbers from starting pitchers, walks to innings pitch, but one of the key stats I look for is whip. And he has a sub 1.30 whip coming into this start. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Theo Jameson. And as we the give you a look fielder. at his splits, he's Theo. had the better of right-handers Jameson. this season, no doubt about that. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Fellows are visiting team as they take the field after a scoreless top half. It was another loss for them last time out, and that makes them 2-8 and eight over their last 10 games. Yeah, Matty, they played a heck of a game. First game of this series and then dropped the last two, not playing really good baseball. They have to find a way to win this one today. No doubt about it, D-Roll. There's such a thing as a good series by winning the last one and getting a split in the four-game set. That's exactly what they would like to do today to get some momentum going into the next series. Boy, not the prettiest of swings, D-Roll. That looked a little bit from the Vladimir Guerrero book, but nonetheless, he got the job done. Yeah, a little choke and poke right there. That he flipped the bat out there and was able to find a little empty green Number grass. 51. Not pretty, but he'll take it. Ready on 0-2. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. And ending in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Into the box, Theo now Jameson. Back. He reached out a single fielder. in his first try. Theo Jameson. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Gomez on the move. He's there and records the first down. Digging in for his second at bat, Elvis Gomez. He singled right his last fielder. time up. Yeah, Elvis. guys, everyone knows he's been Gomez. slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So they breeze. Ready for another chance? Theo Jameson. He flew fielder. out in his last at bat. Jameson. 
First pitch of the at bat. Hit hard on the ground to a second. On. He's got it. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. So stepping in, Theo Jamison. Fielder. Theo. He's ready. Here's the first Jameson. offering. Pulled toward right center field. Calling for it, Montañez. Two down. Stepping into the box, the Joaquin Montañez. He looked to bounce Joaquin. back after striking out Montanez. his last time up. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Fly ball out toward left center field. Waiting on it, the left fielder. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with a victory and look on to the next one. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. The Altoona Curve took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Orlando Fernandez earns win number seven on the season. Jared Tejada earns the save out of the bullpen, his 12th of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The show's continuing coverage of Eastern now, League Baseball yo, is on the air. Al Tonight, Duda. game two of this three-game yeah. weekend series between the Reading Fightin' Phils and the Altoona Curve. Freddie Baldwin will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, we look a lot at numbers from starting pitchers, walks to innings pitch, but one of the key stats I look for is whip. And he has a sub 1.30 whip coming into this start, which tells me he throws. Now with the play, Tino Escalona. And That's as you it. can see, he has the been slumping season. offensively. Tino Escalona. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Up, 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 look Popped up. up. Huggins is calling for it. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. So a bit of a rocky start there as they're able to load the bases on him, but he's able to wiggle his way out of it. So it's on to the bottom of it. Striding into the box, Theo Jamison. And as we give you a look at his splits, he's had the better of right-handers this Jameson. season. No doubt about that. He's set and the pitch. A ball of no strikes. Well, you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, they started yesterday off on the right foot. If they get put together two games in a row, a lot of positive vibes start happening. You never know. This could be a jump start to big things. Left side, but well foul. Runners are at first and third, one away. in the air out to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And the throw in gets away from him. And now the runner will score from third on the air and throw. Got his job done there and made it look pretty simple. Got it into the outfield to bring home the first run of the game and pick up the RBI. Now batting, Tino Escalona. Two base on, base two out eight. for him here in the third. Tino. Escalona. This one's flared toward left center. Huggins is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So one run on two base hits, no errors, and two left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning. Coming to the plate now, the Theo Jamison, the and he could give his guys an Theo. early lead if he can come through Jameson. here. From the stretch. Ground ball stand to up, second. Up, this could up. be two. Reined in to second for one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. So striding in, number 51. And their runners at the corners now.
popped him up. Fitzgerald over to his left, and that ends the inning. No runs, a hit, two left. Three innings complete, all tied at one and one. Now in the box, Daryl Hania. Now batting, the center fielder, Daryl Hania. Ready on 0-2. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. McDougal ranging into the outfield. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So no run. Digging in, David Vaccaro. He came Reddit. through with an RBI right single field. in his last at-bat. David Vaccaro. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Jamison sprinting after it. He makes the catch. Ready once again, Theo Jamison, runner in scoring position with two gone. Theo Jamison. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. One -oh. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Lifted the other you way out to scoring. left center. Pena giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. It's a run on. Striding in, Theo Jamison. He flew out in the his last at bat. Theo. First pitch on its way. Jamison. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Swing and a miss, ball, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. This is what every pitcher likes to have. Another 0-2 count really puts the hitters on a defensive side in multiple ways. You can go fastball up. You can go breaking ball down. One of the keys getting ahead, and he's done a very good job of that so far. He pulls this one into right, and that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Turn and burn, baby. He smelled that heater coming inside right there. Didn't do too much damage with it, but was able to get the head out and drive it for a knock. The batter, number 51. Digging in, number 51. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Oh, beat it ball to beat short. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's 1 for 3. But he gets back in time, safe at second base. Well, he was definitely in a good hitter's count right there. Pot committed. Probably not the pitch he was looking for, but good bat-to-ball skills. Now to the plate, Daniel McDougal. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they Second take another baseman. single right here. That Daniel. third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. Now at the plate, Miles Hunt. Now over two it. with a walk for Protected. him so far. Miles Hunt. Lazy fly ball out to center field. And this one was tailing on him, but he was able to reach down, pull it in, and with it, the side is retired. So two runs on. Digging in now, Theo Jamison. The center fielder. First offering on its way. Jameson. On the back, pick up the ball. Lined into right, a base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, d -Row, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's now played. Batting. Number 51. Four runs here in this half inning. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Standing in, Daniel no McDougal. He's four. one for four for Second the game. Baseman, Daniel. Challenge pitch McDougal. coming. Here it is. And that misses ball four. A run will come in to score. Coming to the plate again, Johnny Huggins, as he'll bat for the, the second stop. time in the inning. Johnny Huggins. The 3-0 pitch. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. 
Wow, they went to the pen because they liked the matchup. And what does he do? He walks the first guy he faces to bring in a run. So, so much for that strategy. Makes you wonder if they'll turn to him again next time. Yeah, this game was decided in the eighth. That was a huge offensive fireworks coming into the eighth inning. And when the other guys put up a big inning like that against you late in the game, it's really tough to make any kind of a comeback. 12 to 3 is the way this one ends. The curve scored 12 times in round two a win tonight. Freddie Baldwin earns his eighth victory of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. The game's future stars are on and display now, as minor league baseball comes Al your Kuga. way on the show. Kerr. Tonight, a compelling matchup of division contenders between the Reading Fightin' Phils and the Altoona Curve. Justin Holton gets the assignment for the rubber match in this series. What do we need to know here, Danny? This guy's a pretty good pitcher, and I was looking through the stats, and one thing jumped out at me, a sub 1.20 whip coming into this start. That tells me a couple of things. One, he's not. So coming to the plate, Theo Jamison. He'll get the to take his field. first cuts here. Theo Jamison. First delivery to him on the way. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Yeah, you should take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. Yeah, Matty, this is the big one right here. They split the first two games of this series. You want to steal one right here and be feeling good about yourself. Yeah, Dero, I think one of the things you want to do, you get to the third game. You'd like to win this series and finish it off by winning game three. It's always nice to win a series, whether it's at home or on the road. So this is a big one for this ball club. The one two is a sinker that dips below the zone for a ball. Boy that's a tough pitch to lay off right there just out of the strike zone. But listen when you're a 300 hitter you don't chase a lot of those so called pitchers pitches. This guy knows the strike zone. Oh and a fine play there as he ranges back to put this one away. Not an easy play by any means and there are two gone. And with that here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. What's the key for them tonight, Dero? Well, Matty, you take a look at this lineup filled with young bloods, just young guys, hungry, aggressive, trying to do damage and move traffic to both gaps. Line to line power up and down this lineup. Settling in now, Donnell Kent. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a little blooper to center. Jamison ranging yes, yes. forward, but he won't get there. It falls in. Boy, this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just another example. And even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages another base hit. Yeah, don't. So here's the cleanup the hitter, Theo Jamison. The he flew out in his Theo. last at bat. Jamison. Here comes the first pitch. Curveball fooled him there as he's way out in front. That's what makes pitching so difficult. You get the first two guys out of the inning, then you give up that two out base hit. Now you have the middle part of the order coming up, and this is where you have to really. Re Meanwhile, here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. The relay. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. Just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch all year with runners in scoring position, and he does it again here with a double. Tack on another RBI to his season total. So striding forward now, Daniel McDougal. Second baseman. Daniel. A one and one count. Here's the Matt pitch. Dougal. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw to first in oh. plenty of time, and the side is retired. So it's one run, one hit, one error, and one man left on. On now to the top of it. 
Ready for another shot now. Theo now Jameson. Back. He'll try the to follow fielder. up the double in his Theo. last at bat with another big Jameson. hit right here. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls in a strike. Great off speed pitch right there. He was definitely sitting fastball, wanted to turn and burn. All right, get halfway. Everything get went halfway. Flying. This pitcher might be on the attack with that pitch all game long. Vaccaro patrolling center makes the play one out. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. Into the box now, Theo now Jameson. Back. The center fielder, Theo. First Jameson. pitch coming, here it is. Tries to get the bunt down here, but this is foul, and we'll see if he tries it again. And a bunt attempt misses, and we'll see how they play it down 0-2. That's not great form right there, but you can't be surprised. A lot of these guys were not asked to bunt coming up through the minor leagues, so don't expect every sack bunt to get down. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. The Altoona curve jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Justin Holton gets to double digits with his 10th win of the year. Jeffrey Mossy is settled with a loss after giving up only one earned. Jared Tejada records the save, his 13th of the year. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com.